in a digital world obsessed with reality TV and pop idols and failed financial institutions that come and go. I prefer things that last, like this hundred year old set of cards. Dream of cards TV. Do you like collecting? Then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the like button because it does something very special. It makes you younger. Here we have a fantastic original set of 1913 Sporting Girls issued by Wills's Scissors brand. It gives us a glimpse of the changing attitudes and tastes towards the fairer sex of the beginning of the 20th century. These miniature works of art show beautiful, fashionable Edwardian ladies taking part in sports, many of which are normally considered to be male-dominated pastimes even today, such as billiards, fishing, golf and motor car racing. Although I can't see any featuring female boxers and footballers. That would have been quite good. These cars would have been very bold and shocking for their time, although they look rather tame by today's shameless standards to the untrained eye. There, are, there was an interesting kind of symbiotic relationship between those information-hungry customers and the commercially thirsty companies that produce these historic relics. For the benefit of those that don't know what these cards are, trade cards were colourful cards that were issued with lots of everyday products such as chocolate, tea, soap and often cigarettes. Companies fiercely competed against each other in coming up with card subjects that would appeal to their information starved customers, unwittingly providing us with one of the finest pictorial records of the interests, fears and desires of the ordinary people at the tail end of the 19th century and beginning of the 20th century. More happened during that time than the rest of human history put together. Mass media was in its infancy, uh, so these everyday items, as well as reflecting the interests, fashion trends and attitudes of the public, would also have played an equally important role in actually moulding and shaping popular culture and the views of society, becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy and giving birth to our modern consumerist world today. Television hadn't been invented, radio was in its infancy, and cinema was little more than a novelty fairground attraction next door to the Fortune Teller's tent. Magazines and newspapers weren't particularly inspiring either by today's information rich standards as there was no colour or photographic pictures. So these colourful cards were an oasis in an information barren desert and were in enthusiastically collected by the ordinary people and that seemingly unassailable chasm between the old and the new world. What events could have triggered this remarkable card set? Well, the suffragettes' more militant stance in 1912 was gaining increasing uh, media coverage and reached its pinnacle in 1913, the same year that this actual card set was issued. In that year, a suffragette by the name of Emily Davison threw herself in front of the King's racing horse at the Epsom Derby. She would have probably been called a terrorist by, uh, well, today. Whilst the men were busy fighting to save their lives, and for king and country, of course, in World War I, many of the women filled the job roles that were normally reserved for men before the war out of necessity's sake. As well as revealing what women were actually capable of and ultimately winning them the right to vote, this also triggered a cultural revolution in the arts, cinema, and what women hold most dear to their hearts, of course, fashion. This humble card set, uh, Women at Woolworth, gives us some clues as to the revolutionary changes that were taking place at that thrilling time. It shows women shockingly wearing trousers, ooh, and more practical and comfortable clothing. 
I've done a detailed video of this set on my YouTube channel, so please check it out later. There's a huge surge in interest in the past at the moment, demonstrated by numerous hugely popular and critically acclaimed period dramas on television and at the cinema. Some say this is a symptom of our austere times, austere and financially challenging times. When things get tough, people tend to take refuge in their nostalgic fantasies. Now even the uh, fashion world has gone full circle as people wear Edwardian and 1920s inspired clothes. What better way to find out about the fashions of that actual time than by checking out these everyday items like these cards that were actually issued at that time rather than relying on the watered down idealistic and distorted interpretations of today's trendsetters. It's interesting to note that the uh, costume designers of uh, the Leonardo Di uh, DiCaprio film uh, the Great Gatsby were inspired by original 1920s magazine adverts. Well, these cards are full colour. That's what gives them the uh, advantage and edge over other types of media of that time. Thank you for uh, taking the time to uh, check out this timeless set of cards. Please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of the earliest movie trade cards in the world on my channel. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to come along to my card museum at creamofcards.com. Oh no, I'm afraid we've run out of time. But just before you go, please leave comments up below. And if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this, subscribe to the track. By clicking on the icon, up in the sky, a cream of cards TV.